Alright, so today I got another program from Slimware Utilities. It is called Slim Drivers version 2.2. It's actually free as a state. Autom automated driver updates. I mean, there's many. Oh, and it has a little Facebook too if you want to link your friends to it and help them out a bit. But uh, that's your choice. So now <coughs> it has a simple interface. Just simply start the scan pro process. It'll scan your computer for it'll scan all your computer's drivers and uh, tell you which ones are out of date or what they're not. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it was a late night. Uh, here are the missing drivers I have not updated yet. So the, here are the NC Electronic USB 2, 2 3.0 host controller. I actually have a custom built computer that supports 3.0, so I'm gonna simply hit the download and update. You always want to back up everything because on two different occasions, uh, Slimware Utilities, I mean Slim Driver, has failed on me twice and it made the com the computer unbootable. I mean there were small speed bumps. I mean if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to. Uh, Resolve it quickly if you know what you're doing, but if you don't, it could be, uh, actually be uh, a hassle. So you want to back it up. In the meantime, that's loading. Let's go to their website and see what they got to say about this driver. I mean, about this program. Uh, where you utilities? If I, I think it, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, that's a bad search, isn't it? Oh, let's just go with that. Let's see what it does. Uh, uh, that's just probably it. Yeah, here we go. So here is Slim Drivers. So actually, for the f there's actually two versions actually. Uh, I guess I'll just download them. Uh, it has a a free version and the a paid version for twenty nine ninety seven a year. So. The only difference between the free version and the paid version is that the paid version will automatically download the driver, so it'll automatically run in the background. And in the Slim Drivers, the free version, you will have to manually update every single driver. So that's the that's the catch, which isn't which isn't much for considering it to be free. I mean, how many times a driver gets updated anyway? Oh, so here's the USB 3.0 uh, driver that I was installing. Uh, so no more, no more downloading into pieces and extracting anymore. Actually, we'll do it for you all in once, in one click, we'll just in one or two clicks, or several clicks anyway. So just simply install and get it, get it all up and running. So that's that. Well, let's just leave that. That's not very important. So it says here all the kind of drivers I will update. It will d display drivers, audio and sound, graphics, video adapters, modem and network adapters, printer, video TV, scanner, etc. It has, it has basically everything covered. And uh, here are the hardware companies where they uh, link. Uh, presumably, they do some. They have some sort of like cloud-based program in the system where they compile a list of all the latest drivers are working. They just go directly and just simply download it. And uh, here, I don't even install. And uh, L, it, ha it has almost there everything covered. So that's that's that. Uh, here's the still the st I can't do anything. I'll be back. Let me let it. L let's just let's just finish the download. Give me a second. All right. So my driver has finished. My USB 3.0 has finished. Updated and now uh, almost every single time I'll ask you to uh, restart the computer. Well, maybe not in this case. I I guess it was just sound cards. Oh no, there it is. So no, I'm not gonna restart. I mean, I'm not even using three. USB 3.0 at the moment anyway. So here here's the uninstall feature. Yes, I want to leave it. It's just telling you to leave to the side. Uninstall features is you can actually do this from device manager if you know where you're going and just simply click, click the driver you do not want and uninstall it. Don't mess around with that if you do not know what you're doing. Okay, the options menu has very general, very basic uh, check for the program's uh, version and uh, run on Windows. I don't want to do that. I'll just save it because I don't want to do that. What the hell is it? Hold up. Give me a second. Alright, so we got the backup. Uh, if you saved any drivers in the past, uh, normally it'll, you, you always want to backup every driver every, every time you use this program because you do not know what might happen. Like I said, out of the 30 times that I've used this program on clients' PCs, uh, twice it has failed. One on my computer, on this computer, and one on the, on the recent computer. It failed on me and made the computer unbootable, like I said. So, restore. If the update didn't go well, you can actually just go back and restore it. The update, very basic. Schedule, 
and stuff like that. Restore. So if you want to, let's say you format a CD or you're going from, uh, let's say you have XP and, uh, well, that's a bad example, isn't it? Uh, I guess if you have Vista and you're migrating to Windows 7, generally the drivers from Vista will work and, and for some reason they won't be recognized on Windows 7. You can actually just back these up format install Windows 7 and use the same driver but normally you should just do another scan of this it's not very useful unless you do a system restore with the with the factory CDs that you might have gotten with your computer then you might want to do that but normally this is kind of a useless feature because uh, 9 out of 10 times you're not going to use these same drivers because normally if you're going to uh, upgrade for another system you're not going to use these drivers anyway so but you always want to back them up just in case just in case if you get infected by malware or something like that but normally you'll just run another scan of slim drivers and get your uh, drivers back in order oh, th oh this is what I was talking the backup oh no actually this is the restore section so this, this is all the drivers that have been saved by slim drivers if you want to turn back the clock this is what you want to back up this is the backup so um, unless you have any questions or some issues they'll try to solve it for you and they'll email it back to you they have a forum which is a support the little support section right here and uh, here are the forums in case you're having some issues. So that's that. And uh, overall, it's a very good program. I mean, for free, you can't complain. It's a very good, very, very good program, especially especially since you don't have to manually hunt for drivers anymore. Now, do I, do I really recommend it? Yes. Yes, I do, but word of caution. Uh, it, it had, like I said, it has failed on me twice, but other than that, it has saved me a lot of time. So it's a very good program, but just... Just caution, just back up, back up, back up everything. Do not skip up the backup process. You always want to restore everything. I mean, just you want to back it up. That's what I mean. And uh, thanks for watching, and ho hopefully you enjoyed this and found this useful, all right? Thank you.